I am continuing a series of testing that I've been doing on bottled water and also in this particular video I am over on the left here filtering some well blue uh, some tap water through the well blue pitcher and I will also just show you my tap water just from St. Louis tap and in addition to that I will demonstrate the Athena water ionizer which is sitting on the counter as well so basically comparing those four types of water tap water and the well blue and the Essentia water which is extremely expensive and uh, in addition to being extremely expensive and it, it's the advertising is it's super hydrating water it says 9.5 pH hydrates restores adds you know restores balance or whatever um, it says it's purified water and electrolytes for taste so basically um, the the they're basically saying the same about this water that you would you would get from the well blue pitcher and the Athena ionizer if that were true but I'm quite sure I haven't tested this yet but I'm quite sure that is impossible because the antioxidants you'll find in the other water are are just not storable they they can't store especially not in, they just can't store over a, a long period of time like they might store for a few days but certainly not for the shelf life of this water and in addition to that there would be no antioxidants uh, well in addition to no antioxidants being in that water I will guarantee it's quite oxidizing so um, it probably does have a 9.5 pH though because if they intentionally add the right minerals to create that they can do that this is St. Louis tap water and actually uh, a lot of municipalities do add calcium and things like that which will raise the pH of your water you can see that our municipality in St. Louis has because the water is coming in at 9.5 pH now our, our water source is mainly from the Missouri River uh, it's, it's oxidizing though 230 ORP which is there's there's no plus sign here but it is it is positive 223 basically all right so now that's the tap water and I'll just set that aside I'm gonna I'm gonna do the ascension next I'll say that uh, my prediction is that tap water in St. Louis if you filter it get the chlorine out would be just as good as the Essentia and this is not filtered in particular so there's chlorine and chloramine so that the Essentia might have one up on St. Louis tap water just from that but let's take a look it's a little bit less oxidizing than the tap water in St. Louis because it's 200 versus I'm just going to flip these back to the tap water 203, 204 I'm going to flip them now 205 to the St. Louis and you can see that it went up in that transition but really the the difference between the two is negligible look at that when you let it sit it settles down down to about 210 now in the essential water when you let it sit it goes up it's kind of odd but um, I'm going to imagine that it goes right on up to about the same number or so close there's 200 201, 202. So I'm going to guess that it's going to go up to very close to the same number. And so it's oxidizing. That's not too bad. Now the pH is higher 
on this water. It's 10.2. And I certainly would not spend $2 a bottle for Essentia water unless you were going on a, you know, somewhere uh, you were you were in another country or you, you, had, you just had no access to any potable water whatsoever. All right, that ne the next thing I'm gonna do, this water has been filtering now. It doesn't quite look done, but I'm going to go ahead and remove the, the filter that's that's still dripping. I'm just going to remove that and test this water next. Because I want to go in order from what, what I think is from worst to, to best of what I think I would want to drink. Alright, so this is water from the tap that started out just like the last water we tested from the tap and here we go, it's 10.4 pH, so it went up pretty nicely. And But here's what's interesting, that is a minus sign. That means that it is antioxidant rich in this water. Instead of being oxidizing, it does the opposite. It helps to fight free radicals by drinking this water. That's quite a big thing to have like a negative 409 ORP. Now this pH has settled a little bit and it went to a 10.5 so I'll just show you that. Alright, the last thing I said I was going to test was the water from the ionizer and the ionizer, instead of taking a half hour to filter about two liters of water, the ionizer would give me that same amount of water in about a minute. <laughs> so it's very fast. Although you know it's not it's not as fast as like um, you know I was hold on one second I'm just gonna pour that again. It's not as fast as like pouring it full force out of your sink. Uh, faucet or anything like that but it's the perfect speed really all right so now instantaneous water <laughs> water didn't take any time to pour and there's the pH quite alkalizing 11.3 and here is the ORP and it's still going up I would imagine that's going to go right on up to negative 18 as fast as that's going. I mean, not negative 800. <laughs> so anyway, um, it, that's the the various different waters that are available to you. This is quite antioxidizing or full of antioxidants. As a matter of fact. When I started drinking water that was this full of antioxidants, I had spider veins that were on my legs that just literally, before my very eyes, disappeared. And so there is something to say about antioxidants and your body and your blood vessels and all the cells in your body to have a continuous source of antioxidants, which, you know, I drink water, I sip it all day long. and instead of just relying on a pill in the morning, a vitamin C or whatever, or in the evening, um, to have antioxidants all day long makes a, a huge difference for your body. Okay, well, one other thing I just want to say about the Essentia, and because I know it's got such, it's so popular with health enthusiasts and, and uh, and athletes and there there's it's it's got quite a good name for itself it's not a bad water but th one other thing a true objection i have to all bottled water is this is a plastic that is made basically from 
uh, oil and uh, crude oil and chemicals and whatnot to make these plastics. And the whatever is uh, leaching into the water during the entire shelf life of that bottle is a, a lot of it is not even known. We we found out about BPA and now are all the different bottled water companies are trying to uh, you know make their their bottles BPA free although this one is not BPA free so you normally oh no I'm sorry it is BPA free if if it does not say it's BPA free though it is BPA free but just because it says BPA free it does not mean that it has not been leaching during the entire shelf life of sitting on that shelf for months or whatever it's been leaching things from the plastic and I really highly object to that alright well that's uh, food for thought and just one more test in my series of tests on bo bottled water thank you